Phoenix Mobile Home. If you don't know who I am, I'm a mobile home dealer here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm standing in front of this double wide here in Maricopa, Arizona. This video is gonna be about what you need to know if you're thinking about moving your mobile home. Now, whether you're looking at buying a mobile home from someone like me, or maybe you already own a mobile home, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know. And I just wanna make sure that I at least touch on some of the topics. That way you can go do research and make sure you have a smooth, seamless mobile home transport. So. Uh, the first step is going to be, here's your mobile home. This mobile home is getting moved to a property. The first thing I'd want to do is I want to make sure that the land will actually accept the mobile home. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to reach out to your local county um, or land division, whoever, whoever you're, you're, or wherever you're transporting your mobile home. Just make sure that you can actually put a mobile home on the property. Now what happens is sometimes people will have a property, it's out in Buckeye, and the land is only zoned for one single family dwelling, and they try to pull a mobile home on. Or maybe they're in the process of building a house, and they want to put a mobile home on while they're building their house. And I've had that happen before. I've sold mobile homes to people where they don't actually check to make sure that their land will accept a mobile home. They call us saying, hey, now what? So uh, we like to make sure that the, the families are actually you know, engaged making sure that it's going to be a smooth seamless transition so step number one if you're buying a piece of land what i recommend is doing a 45 to 60 day due diligence that way you can make sure your land will actually hold a mobile home uh, step number two and i'm just gonna walk around this mobile home i'm gonna kind of ramble while i shoot this video um, and just uh, more or less show you exactly what we're doing with this one but uh, step number two is going to be finding the correct mobile home this is a 1997 double wide that we're pulling off this property for the family what you want to make sure is that the mobile home can actually be moved. A couple things, a couple things that you want to check. Uh, the year is really important for mobile home transport. So, uh, if it's a 1976 or older, you're probably not going to be be able to move that mobile home to the property. What happens is that mobile home does not meet the current HUD standards. Uh, so you'd have to bring that entire mobile home up to the HUD standards prior to setting and passing a final inspection. It's called the rehabilitation process. Families call us all the time saying, hey, we have a 1972, we want to move it to our property out in Buckeye, and uh, we have to break that news to them. So one, you're going to want to find a mobile home that is, is newer. Uh, the other thing is, if you're moving your mobile home to Apache Junction, sometimes they have requirements and restrictions on the age that can be moved to the property. So you're going to want to, you're going to, want to make sure that you check, talk to your county, to make sure that the mobile home that you're in the process of purchasing or the one that you already own can actually be placed on the property. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a reliable mobile home transport company. Now you can reach out to us um, or you could check online, reach out to some mobile home parks in your area. What happens is people will be in rural Arizona, so they'll be down by like Sierra Vista, they'll be up by Sholo. There's not a lot of options. So what we always recommend is reaching out to the parks in the area to see who they use for installation, transport, because they're always pulling mobile homes on and off the property. So uh, that's one way, word of mouth, calling local dealers in the area. They'll probably know of a good transport company, be able to refer people. You can always pick up your phone, call us, and we'll, we'll be more than happy to help you through the process. So once you found that reliable transport company is the actual move itself. So this mobile home, as you can see, it's split down the middle. We're in the process of moving it. We have a transport company that we use for all of our, our mobile home transports. Uh, we've prepped it, it's already on wheels, it's split down the middle, it's wrapped and whatnot. Uh, it's gonna be the actual move to the property. Now, before you can move it to the property, you're gonna wanna make sure your land is set up correctly. So you've identified that the land will hold a mobile home. Uh, you found the right mobile home. Uh, you find, found a reliable transporter. Now you're gonna to have to actually prep the land for the transport, and it's very important. So this property, you can't see it, but we'll, we'll maybe show you, cut over to it, but uh, this mobile home is gonna be difficult to get off. So what happens is that people place the mobile homes on their property, and they plant uh, trees, they plant shrubs, um, and now the mobile home can't get out. Or maybe uh, they got it in, it was a smaller mobile home, and now they have a bigger mobile home that's not gonna fit through the gate that they put up you know, in the past 40 years. So making sure your, your site is prepped for the mobile home, uh, the transporter is gonna always drive the property to make sure that there's gonna be no issue so that way they don't drop the mobile home in the street. And it happens all the time. You hear of people uh, having their home delivered 
and the transporter can't get into the property, so he'll just drop it on the street and take off because the, the family didn't want to uh, pay for the crawler service, which is usually five, six hundred bucks. So prepping your land, making sure it's ready to go. The other thing in Arizona is now you're required to build up a pad. Uh, so a lot of people, uh, they'll pull their mobile home out and they think they can just pull a new one in. Well, now it's a state requirement that you have to build up an AB material pad. So uh, if you hire a licensed transporter that's able to do the entire thing, they're gonna know all this stuff. They're gonna be prepping you, helping you prep the entire thing. So once your mobile home is delivered, now you're gonna actually start with the installation of the mobile home. If you've hired a licensed transporter that's familiar with the process, they might be able to help you with the entire process. What happens is people will hire transporters and there's different types of transporters. There's people that will just do mobile home transport. Uh, there's people that'll just do the hauling. And then there's licensed installers that will do everything from A to B. They'll come hook up on the pro uh, onto the mobile home. They'll do the, what's called the teardown, which is the actual breakdown of the mobile home. And they'll install it on the back end. I recommend working with a person that's gonna do the entire package because they're actually gonna be able to help you with all of your utilities as well. So here in Arizona, you're gonna have your county permit, you're gonna have your state permit, and then you're also gonna have permits for all your utilities as well. If you have a licensed installer, they'll probably help you with everything from A to B. And so for this mobile home, if it was going to a different property, you'll have your county permit, which is gonna make sure that the mobile home set in the correct location. They're gonna be looking at the site plan, making sure that the mobile home's not installed in a flood zone, all of that stuff. And then the state level permit, which is the actual installation of the mobile home, can only be done by a licensed installer. So the licensed installer is gonna be responsible for making sure that everything is set to the state code. And prior to passing your county permit, you have to have a properly installed mobile home. So it's very important to have a licensed installer. Every once in a while you hear of someone that tried to install it with you know, Joe Schmo and they can't pass the state level permit until a licensed installer comes out. The licensed installer is not gonna to wanna to touch the job because someone else did it and they don't wanna sign off on it just creates this huge headache. So if you want a smooth, seamless transition and installation, you're probably gonna to wanna to work with someone that's licensed that can do everything from A to B. The other thing is there's installers here in Arizona that will do your utilities as well. They do septics, they're licensed for septic, uh, electric, uh, they'll do AC installation, and it just makes for a very smooth, seamless process where they can come on hook up to this mobile home and they'll actually handle the very end, all the way to the very end. So I recommend working with someone like that. I know it can be very daunting. It's, it's not that hard. There's a lot of steps, a lot of stuff that's hidden um, and not known to the, the average person. So feel free to leave a comment below. My name is Matt. I'm a mobile home dealer here in Phoenix, Arizona. We buy and sell new and used mobile homes. We help families do haul offs and everything. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. I post mobile home content here in Arizona and I'm more than happy to reach out and talk to you if you have any questions. So feel free to reach out, be safe, be good. I'll catch you in the next video.